In this video, we're going to go over outputting our color factory designs or design assets as halftones working in Corel Draw. We'll be working with Simple Steps. That's another plugin from advancedtshirts.com. We'll see how this works now. Outputting the monochromes and the duotones is very easy because it's really just like vector, but it's a bitmap. And it's the only bitmap that supports color properties. If we take a look at this lightning effect, we can see just the pop and the nice design look we get on this. It's a total departure from vector because we're working with a duotone with color here from the color factory. If I left click, hold down, right click one time, I can duplicate that lightning bolt. And that's the actual color from that design asset. But you can see that it has a color property down here. That's the outline. And I can change that. And that's the unique thing about the monochromes and the duotones. It's just like the vector, they can support color. So they can be color separated, just like a vector. Only difference is, is that you can work with bitmaps and the effects of bitmaps and the images and things like that, that you just can't get that type of look with the vector. So that's really the only difference. So it's really like working with vector, but it's reversed because your outline is your foreground color. If I change that to a green, and boy, that really makes some pop on that shirt. And then your left click is your background color. If I left click and fill that with a black, you can see that that's my background color. So I'll come up to the X for transparency, left click, and I'll make the background transparent. And my foreground would have my color. So that's the monochrome bitmap. Left click, background color. Right click, foreground color. It's the reverse of vector, but yet these bitmaps still support color like vector. So they do separate very well for screen printing and halftone printing. I'll zoom out here. I'm going to go ahead and delete the logo. I won't need that. I won't need the t-shirt. I'll bring my logo over here to my document. And that's already set up as 19 by 13. My graphic is about 10 and a half inches. Probably want to go to like 12 or 12.5 with that. Make sure that you lock your ratio. I'll change this to 1, 2.5 and hit enter and that will resize my design. Then I go to my Simple Steps plugin. I'll bring that up. I'm going to select everything. Go to Create Selection Palette. Now here I've got white, yellow, magenta, and black. I'm not going to want the black, but I'll go Select All because I want to change all those colors. Go to One Click Conversion. That's going to change all of my colors to Pantones. If I go to Shell co Color Names, I can see these are all Pantones, not 100% density, and that's what I want. Then I can go to Separations, and there's a lot of other tools here in Simple Steps you can use for your color management and working with the colors in your graphics. But we'll go to Separations here. I'm going to go to Raster Type, Half Tone, and change my LPI to 55. You can go with 45 too. I'll go with LPI for all. That's not in the current version. This is in a version that we're working on for update. This is one of the simple steps that I'm working with, but the rest of the tools are in the simple steps that's on the website. I'm going to want a white base, but this is very important. I'm going to want that to be tinted, not untinted, because the tinted is going to compensate for the fact that I have all that lightning and stuff blending into the garment. I'll put a choke on that of, say, two pixels. White highlight is optional if you want it or don't want it. A lot of times you don't need to print it, but we'll go ahead and we'll set that up. Now here I'm going to come down and I go through this. And I'm going to change the yellow to an interlocking halftone so it blends nicely in with the white. Where we've got the white and the yellow blending and also the magenta. Set this to all black. Now I'm all ready to set up my halftones. Now I just click on Generate Separations and Simple Steps will go through, create all of my separations in Corel Draw and give me a halftone preview so I can see what I'm going to get on press before I print out my films and go to press. You know, I call ripping from the other software blind ripping because you really don't know what's going to happen until you get to press. And then if you get a mistake in your white base or anything, that's where you find out about it. When you get this halftone preview, which you're going to see in a minute, you'll see that that won't happen anymore if you're working with simple steps. Now, once that's finished processing, I can close Simple Steps. This doesn't look very good on the monitor. It's just the way that Corel renders the one bit black and white bitmaps through its display or through the engine that it has for display. 
these aren't anti-aliased or anything like that. They look very rough. But I want to see what they're going to look like. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my object manager. I just want to see how I'm laid out here. And I'll click here, and I've got my colors here. We've got the black, the white, the highlight white, and then the colors. Usually I'll bring the highlight white down beneath my colors just so I don't step on any of those because I don't want the white to step on the color. Now these are in Pantone color. So I'll take a look at this, and this is in Pantone. So for a preview, I really don't want to use Pantone to show what the that's going to look like to a client. And the same with the magenta, and I'll go with a real magenta here. Just right click, remember, once again, even here, we're dealing with monochrome bitmaps in our halftone preview. Then I'll left click and select everything here. I'll go to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, RGB, anti aliasing transparent background, very important because we're going to see what it's going to look like with a dark color, and we'll let that process. Now, still doesn't look good, but check this out. I'm going to go to Bitmaps, Blur, Gaussian Blur, 1 pixel, select OK. Now you can see that. Now, if you want to see how this is going to look on a shirt, you can go to the Rectangle tool, create a rectangle. We'll give that, say, a darker blue fill. Right click, and then go to Order and to Back of Page, and we can get a good idea of what our design is going to look like on the t-shirt and we can see that all set up with half tones very easily with the white base and the white highlight and we've got the electrical effect also within the text creating a really nice look and a really nice design so that's how i would set up my half tones in corel draw working with simple steps if you're using another ripping software you might not be able to do the interlocking but you'd follow the same procedure and here in simple steps you could go through and review your individual color separations is actual half tones in Corel Draw. And there's the white highlight. If you wanted to print one white, you could take your white highlight, copy that, go back to the underbase, paste that in. And then once again, monochrome bitmap, left click to make that transparent. You could have your white highlight and your base in one, then delete your white highlight. If you're printing on the black, you could just delete this page or this plate so that you wouldn't output it and we can see here are the other colors all set up this half tone then there's our text and we like to do our at least in our case or in my case i prefer to be able to work with the half tones directly so i can review things see what's going on and do things like check out the half tone preview that way i can see what i'm going to press before i get there instead of just printing out half tones if I've made a mistake, I'll always catch it here in the halftone preview. But that's how I would set up the halftones for the halftone output, working with objects or images that we've converted to monochrome and duotone with the color factory in Corel Draw. We'll go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next video.